Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT. Yo. Uh, I got a story today. So. Some parents. Oh, yo. What did they do this time? Oh, some bad things. Mm, 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 so. Mm. Cops went to a house. In, La- in Henderson, Nevada, which is close to Las Vegas. Okay. And uh, they come in mm-hmm. and they knock on the door and, you know, like a, I can't I don't know how old the guy was. He was in his 50s, I think. Answers the door and, you know, they were, they were getting some complaints. He's like, come on in, officers. And they, you know, they, they go upstairs and they find a, um, similar to a jail cell. Okay. And they found a uh, eleven-year-old child in it. You know, Jonas. Look, I, like you're gonna make this sound weird, but I keep a jail cell in my bedroom. That the height local. Raising. Listen, Raising. listen, listen. I keep a jail cell in my bedroom that the local high school often uses for detention. All right, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that. No. Anyways, this isn't a normal thing. Phrasing. Uh, they're not they're not detentioning kids in your bedrooms now. <laughs> so no, they uh. So no. why was this kid in the goddamn in the in so the prison? I guess bedroom it's, prison. It's come to find out, there was inside there was like it hadn't been cleaned. There was feces and toys Yikes, and man. all sorts of stuff. It was the and the and the guy was talking about it to the cops, and what he told them was. He was in the cage because I think he said he was like autistic, had some other issues, and he was very hard to control. So they put him in a in a cell, okay. and then the cage should have been clean, but his wife and kids weren't clean in the cage, and he can't clean what? it because he had a bad back. The and yeah. uh, so they've been keeping this kid in a cell in their house. An autistic child, like but, yeah, it said it, uh, it was like yeah. Uh, so I mean, yes. Other, I think there was under other issues as well, but yes, autistic, very hard. They were his parents. They were his parents, and uh, so they they. I think what rang the bell was he had been absent for school for mo- for a week. Yikes! So uh, obviously they're in jail. Oh, good. Yeah, the the wife too. Good, good, you know, good, I'm sure good, the good, other good. kids got taken away. I don't know that part for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Um. Yeah, it, I just. I'm at a. Lo- I, I am very rarely at a loss for words. Mm-hmm. I can talk all day. I don't really know what to say about this, other than obvious the obvious of like what the actual f. Yeah, yeah. What the actual f is is about the right response, Jonas. It's so. It's so weird. It puts us out of our out of our comfort zone. It puts us out of our element to think that these things are happening to kids out here. I don't know if you've seen the recent video that's been making its way around uh, Twitter and uh, Reddit, where there's like a uh, they're at a it's a baseball game. Okay, no, I haven't seen this. And there's so. like a kid, and he's like, you know, the camera's doing the thing where it's like looking for kids in the audience <gasps> or whatever. The ear and the guy is like sucking. Oh. The, Oh my god, he like leaned down and bit the kid's ear and like Bro. He didn't know and then he looks at it, he's all like smiling and shaking his he head at the camera. Bro, I'm gonna let you know right now is that like nothing and I I I saw that video last night, nothing like I've never been more pissed off in my life. It's very funny because like if you talk about animals, it just like turns my stomach. If you start talking about kids and I see some shit like that, it like seriously, it makes me so mad. Like ang- like you literally just like tense up and get mad it's like about a it. Rage. Like I want to go and like physically hurt the man. Whatever happened? Did, was there a story that came out? Did something the happen? The police are investigating. I mean, it's pretty. pretty I mean, clear like what's going I'm on sure he's now. gonna say, "Oh, it's just kid stuff," and you're like, "Bro, if you Bro. bit your." Anything. kids yeah. ear in public like it, it yeah me, um, Disgust. So, um. so disgusted so angry so i have similar feelings to this um now i'm not shooting any bail 
I want to keep that in mind, but I am one to take account the ideals and the feelings of the individuals who are on the opposite end. So one more piece before you say that. Go ahead. They said they tried to get attention for the child, but they wouldn't take it through their medical insurance. Yeah. So they tried to get help for the kid, but their so, medical insurance wouldn't help him. This is the thing. When you're dealing with like special needs childs, it's so taxing on the family. And I totally understand that it's hard because like you're dealing with like the behavior of things that the kid is given. You're dealing with like the whole idea of like all the medical needs that that child may have. And obviously a child with mental issues or a disability is going to take way more. It's so there's so many, so many facets that are tougher on like your average parent. Like with not even financially, but like the time that's necessary. Yeah. One, if you have time children investment. who aren't doing that, they're picking up bad behaviors because they're seeing that kid. Do it. It's like it's just a, it's just like a giant escalation constantly. So, yeah, it's a lot, man. And so my heart goes out. But on the same note, man, that's your, it's a human being. That's your goddamn child, man. You got to yeah. fuck. Look after your goddamn child, man. Yeah, like whether whether you planned on having a fully functional, healthy, just cognitive child or whether you thought that you were going to have the child that you have currently who is autistic and has these problems. It does not matter. Take care of your fucking children, yeah, man. Exactly. Like, I mean, you you made the choice to create them. Exactly. Well. To do the act that could potentially create them, whether you tried to create them in that moment or not. Exactly. You got, and if you realize that you can't take care of them, there are options to do to put them up for adoption, do other things. If you realize, like, Valid I point. can't do this, there are government systems in place to be like, I am not fit to raise this child. Please help me find someone who can help raise this child, or like whatever. Valid point. Yeah, I mean, not that you want to do that either, but. That's there for a reason because exactly. some people realize I can't, I can't do it. I can't be a parent. Rather than providing a life that is not satisfactory to this house, to the child's yeah. uh, needs. Rather than putting them in a cage in your house with shit and toys. That shit's, that shit's nuts to me. That shit's yeah, nuts it's, to me. It's just, yeah. And I mean, I hope these people burn in hell. Regardless of like ah! what happened, like what the reasoning was. Ah! The re Any reason is not a good enough reason. Amen. I don't care if that kid was trying to kill you every second he's out of the cage. Mm -hmm. You should have taken him somewhere else yeah. than let him kill, try to kill you. But he was going to school, so it obviously wasn't that bad. Big facts. So, you know, you know what I mean? Granted, most it's even hard, kids that man. have problems are usually better behaved at school than they are at home. But yeah, it's hard, man. It is. Hard. Oh yeah, absolutely. I've like. Like it, it's even even me saying this, I want to I want to I want to put the caveat out there that I've never been a parent. Jonas, me and you have both been quote step, unquote step. Uh, yeah, I was a step parent. Whatever. Yeah, you were a step ish because yeah, right. So I, we we don't necessarily know, but I don't feel like we're too far off base by saying just do the best that's by your kids, man. Yeah, I mean, I, like the, right? like I had two step kids, and they were they. I mean, yeah, they they got in trouble and did kid stuff, but like overall pretty damn good kids like it but at times taxing you know you work all day you come home you gotta help with their homework or do whatever but like i couldn't imagine doing all that coming home and they're like punching holes in the wall you know what i mean and you're trying to figure out like how to get them to stop do that or they're screaming or breaking doors and you're like this is insane but i still wouldn't like lock them in their goddamn room or like you know like yeah, I mean, well, like I said, special needs children, definitely a different animal. But, right, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's still basic parenting 101. Take care of your kids. Make sure they're safe, healthy. Like, yeah, man. I, 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 I know. It, mm, I want to, like, the special needs parents out there, I feel your pain. But you can do it, you know? You can, man. You can. And if you can't, there's resources to help. Yeah. Or... You know, so I hope that these parents a receive the help that they need, b receive the time that they deserve, and c I hope that they yeah. can. Uh, I feel like they ain't gonna have a chance to parent for a while. And c I hope they they get the help that they need to provide their child with the with the care that they that their child deserves. Yeah, you know? unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna be a cho choice for them. They're gonna be in jail. I mean, them. we can we can hope, man. I don't want to see a family broken up any more than anyone else. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, and I don't know how many other kids lived in the home. It's going to be a wild situation for them, so it just causes more problems down the line. So Fair enough. Anywho, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Oh, yeah.